Total would be in probably nine. No, um, probably about 40 more, maybe 50 more, and that might have been the case initially. Uh, obviously, not accounting for the way that we batted. Yeah. And uh, I mean, what, what, what do you put the bat struggles down to today? Um, uh, you look at the basis of or the basics of a, a run chase. You know, partnerships are very important. We struggled to get enough partnerships going, or one substantial one. There were a couple of individual um, innings, but. That's not good enough to win, to win a game. And uh, I mean, you, you know, you're renowned in this run for, for chasing. Last two out of three now, you, you haven't managed to, to get over the line. Is, does that um, have confidence? Um, no, I don't think it does. I think when we get beaten, we tend to come back quite strong. Um, we tend to resort to being aggressive, smart, positive cricket. So let's hope that's the case on Tuesday. Yes, sir. When, uh, before the start of the tournament, publicly said that Sri Lanka is not there. They have about 10, 15 players who have not been under playing when you were playing. So uh, but are you surprised by the fact that Sri Lankans have uh, stood up and performed well today and won the match? No, not at all. I think the performance, uh, particularly that uh, mali has been around for a long time, uh, you know, him coming in and bowling like that isn't surprising at all. Hi, guys. Uh, this is the third time and you are you're, you're, you know, considered a tournament favourite. How, how crucial and how important are these uh, you know, finishes? Like, this, now, this, the, now the league is still wide open, like, you know, the, the race for the top four. So yeah, we are going to lose games in the group stages. Um, we didn't deserve to win today's game. Uh, the other four times, I can't account for all of them, but certainly different circumstances. Um, I mean, you said, you know, confidence won't be hit too much. What, what was your your message to the players after that result because it was a shock. Yeah, I think you know the message is quite simple. Uh, we need to you know do the basics along with the way that we play as well. And the belief you guys have kind of gained, I guess, over the last four years and that rise to number one in the world, that's still as strong as ever despite the result. Yeah, there's there's no reason why it shouldn't be. Um, we're going to play competitive games again. We're we're not going to win every game in this World Cup. We still need to go back to the process of by that's taken us to being a strong side in the world. Um, Michael Vaughan was saying on the radio, you, you weren't smart enough with the bat. W would you agree with that assessment? Uh, I'd probably say there were a number of things. Uh, there were a couple of challenges that presented themselves with the, with the wicket, um, and we didn't overcome them. Take a couple more. George. If you had your chance again, how, how, how do you think England should bat on that wicket? I mean, did, was it a bit like Cardiff in the Champions Trophy semi? But maybe you can't really remember that game, to be honest. <laughs> okay, well, well, at that time it was, you know, it's what you do remember, really. Yeah, I think uh, that game in particular, one side batted really well and the other didn't. This, both teams struggled. And do you think that your batsmen were a bit unlucky? I mean, the Joe Root dismissal, for example, is. It's, you know, you can't account for that. You can't. No, you can't. But so, is it fair to say that that mowing wicket is a bit of a turning point? No, no, no. no. Um, I would say there were quite a few wickets that were turning points, simply in the fact that you've got guys coming in at, at six who average forty, seven who average thirty. We bat all the way down, so every single one is quite significant because every single one could establish a partnership that could win you the game. Last one, Ali. I mean, you said that. I mean, injuries are going to happen, they're inevitable, but just how much has the Jason Roy injury sort of thrown you out of kilter? The, uh, I don't, don't think it has at all. Um, if you look at the, the games that we've played, um, obviously we would love him in the side, and he's a huge strength at the top of the order, but uh, that's not why we lost the game today or why um, we might have struggled on this wicket. Okay. Thank you.